Hi guys, just a variation on that experiment I just tried with the rocking seagulls. I'll do a close up in a minute, but I've spread things apart here. At this end, I've got a battery pack and just some ordinary wire. Then at this end, I've got some fairly thick copper wire. I think it's 1.5 millimeter copper wire. It goes underneath the plastic frame, comes this way, turns 90 degrees, turns 90 degrees, back across, turns again, back across. So it zigzags underneath the three metal balls. Then it comes back here again, back up to this end. So the idea is I can connect the battery to it and pulse it from here so that I'm nowhere near this and I'm not accidentally blowing the seagulls or anything. What I'll do is I'll put the camera at that end looking this way. I'll just take the camera off the tripod and do a bit of a close-up anyway. So that's my battery pack. It's actually six AA non-rechargeable batteries. So that's six times one and a half. So that's nine volts, assuming they're fresh. Then I've got lots of connector wires. The reason I've got so many connector wires is I was trying something else out just now. But we'll show you this bit. So we come along down this wire. Then we've got the ordinary copper wire. That's some sticky tape that I've stuck it to the bottom of here. And again, we've got neodymium magnets on these steel balls. I've only got them on two of the balls. I have left this one alone, the one on the right. But these two have got neodymium magnets on them. So the idea is the current comes along the copper wire, goes underneath one magnet, so when current flows through it, with Fleming's left hand rule, can't remember which way it is, current flow, magnetic field, direction of movement, yeah, you'll have to look it up, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but the point is, it'll cause that magnet to move, comes around there, goes back the other way, the reason I've done it three times, I was going to have three magnets, but I found things got a bit confusing then. So then back across, so the same thing, that copper wire goes directly underneath that magnet, out the other side, all the way back down to the battery at that end. And I'll, so I'll set the camera up at this end so you can see them moving. See, even me talking is putting enough breeze to cause them to move slightly, which is why I want to be down the far end, so I'm not doing this. I'm a little bit concerned that this looks like one of those spoof videos where people are trying to convince you something's happening that isn't really happening. And that's not what it is. It's very simple. It is just current flowing through the wire causing the magnets to move and I'm trying to keep it as clear as possible uh, all I can say is if you don't believe me in what's happening then you'll have to have a look at uh, Lenz's law uh, Fleming's left hand rule uh, Faraday they all talk about currents flowing through wires inducing magnetic fields or EMF, electromotive force. Hmm. I'm waffling, I'll go down there and tap my battery on the wire. You keep an eye on these and see if they start moving.
trying to judge it, um, which isn't so easy from this end of the table because I can't quite see what's going on. But I've taken my hands off the table so I'm not rocking the table at all. That'll do. So if I just grab the camera again and come and have a look at this end. I hope the camera focuses. So there we are. It is literally just three turns of the wire. I could have done it with just two. But I was trying to get all three of them go, but I found that I couldn't stop these two interacting because they were too close. So the magnet on that one would affect the magnet on that one. That'll do.